everyone welcome back to RTS and what are we going to do today I think what we're going to call this is ready to scrap because I'm going to show how to make some individual page kits not like collection kits or paper kits but actually page kits where you would have a one layout in mind or a two layout spread in mind and you would lay everything out and have it in one baggie and so it makes for quick pages and sometimes I'll do that because every once in a while I'm in the mood to play with supplies but I'm not in the mood to actually scrapbook so I will make not only will I make big kits and mega kits and paper kits and collection kits but I also make individual page kits so as I recently was showing I was deconstructing a mega kit that I had and this wasn't a unique kit for me because it kept getting bigger as the time went on instead of smaller because every time I saw something in this color scheme I kept adding to it and so this is <laughs> let me just show you the papers now mind you I've had this I've been playing with this kit oh <laughs> it's been close to three years that's how much paper I have <laughs> because I kept adding to it but when I travel or if I want to do fast pages or I'm doing challenges and I want to make fast pages everything was already there so I thought I was getting ready to deconstruct all of this and then someone had asked a question about individual page kits and I thought you know what I think that's what I'll do so this is just pretend you have a stack of papers because this is a variety of I mean I have a basic color scheme of aqua turquoise and well you know aqua turquoise pink and navy but there's other colors mixed in there too there's some craft and gold and things like that so just pretend there's a, a stack of paper and how would I go about making individual page kits whether it's a one page or a two page and I've been doing this a long time so I know for my style what I need and what I don't need in an individual page kit now I do know I like a little extra rather than a little less because sometimes I travel with my inventory and my supplies and my kits and I you know I don't want to have to run out of something or put a post-it note that I need to include something when I get home so then I also have this stack of cardstock so I won't start with this but I will include this so I'll talk about that and I have some specialty papers and this is my stash of scraps and when I look at these it's funny because I can actually tell you not tell you I can visualize the layouts that I did just seeing the scraps which that's always fun so I will incorporate these scraps in with my page kits now well I divvy this entire stash up <laughs> I don't know that would take a long video <laughs> or it take a couple videos so what I do what I'll do is um maybe just maybe I'll just do six maybe that's what we'll do we'll see how long the video gets or if you like it I'll just keep on going because you know I love page kits I I don't even want to tell you how many kits and page kits and paper page kits I have <laughs> always on the go always on the stash so okay I will have to move this because I want to need as much room as I can get so just pretend this is a stack of paper and you have a you just pulled a stack of paper and you want to make some individual individual page kit page kits so that's what I'm gonna do and of course you know I love <laughs> love this pattern I have bought more than one of this on uh, my mind's eye this this year this year that they came out with this collection it was just beautiful their paper weight was luscious what year was this 2014 yeah oh papers companies don't make papers like they used to but moving on okay so what would I do I have a stack of papers they're not in order by anything so what I would do right off the bat is that I will take my multicolor papers put them in one and I really don't look at the b-sides because this pile I can already tell you it's because of what's on the front is why it's in here it's not the back okay but you know you can you can double your fun by looking at your back back side of your of your papers and I'm going to have something coming up in the future to deal with b-side papers so keep that in mind oh, and if I don't someone remind me say hey remember the b-side yeah and then I'll know okay so this is a multi-color multi of course you can see again these were at the top of my pile okay that's what I do when I have a mega kit my multi colors are always in the front okay so that will be a one pile my gold will be another pile and I guess what I should do and I'm sure this gold is gonna have a glare but we will maybe what I'll do is I'll flip the gold because we don't want glare do we I'll cover them up as much as I can 
Okay, and then of course I have my pink, and you know, I'm left handed. And so the, right there, you can see where I had gutted one, but that still was a good background piece. Maybe I should put that in my backgrounds. That would probably make most sense. So I would just, I'm just gonna go through what my process is if you, the camera wasn't on and if I was making individual paint kits. Of course, if I would, didn't have the camera on, I probably wouldn't be yapping as much, but you know how. That's all fun, right? Okay, so now this is like a turquoise. This is a, a green. So you could just put that all in together or you can make a separate color pile for that. That's whatever you wanna do. So this is what I would do first. Now here's some navy. And here's a specialty, but I would put this, so I'm running out of room. I would put this in navy, because that's what I see first. I don't see gold. I mean, there's gold, but I would need the navy for the gold. And I would just keep putting these in color piles and just keep going. You probably can't even see anything I'm doing. But we'll, we'll, we'll get it together. And this is just what I would do. So, you know, leave us a, a, a comment in the section below how you like to make kits. Maybe you don't even like to make kits. See, there's another multicolor. Or what you can do is put this in your embellishment pile. And you could go ahead and cut them up. Sometimes I'm not a fan of cutting these up because it's too many small pieces for me to deal with. And then sometimes if I want to stretch something, I will cut these up. But I will tell you, you know, mood and feel. Something like this makes for a great background and a great story-based page. So... I've had a more than one of those, so that's going in. That's going in multicolor because it's going to stay that way. Again, multicolor. Then I like that coral. I like that coral better than the floral. <laughs> yeah, I really do. But you know, you could. This is one of those pages. Exactly, one of these pages where you know this is a nice addition, but you also like the back. And so what I would do. Let me see if I can find. And again, you know what I say with this video? You sit down and scrap with me. Go do something organized. Sit down and scrap with me because I'll just keep talking and I don't have any idea when I'm going to stop. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to scrap and chat. Okay. So this is one of my favorite go-to designs, bar none. Okay. So this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. There went something flying. Lord, what is it? Okay. And... <laughs> If you really saw the mess I look like, my hair's in a bun. I got, you know, just, uh, it's just a crafty day. You just, it doesn't get any better than that. Okay, so here's a 12 by 12 piece of paper. I would simply, because I cut my branding strip right off the bat. And then you're left with 12 by 12. I would cut that in half, okay? And so then you'd have this, and then you'd have this on the back. And I would trim just down a little bit on the sides put the floral up here, put the coral down here, put a washi strip or a border sticker in the middle, bing, bang, boom. That's my go-to design. When I'm not feeling it, that's my go-to design. Okay. Now someone remind me, especially you, Sharon, you're good at remembering things. <laughs> remind me of say, can you do a video or an example of some of your go-to designs? Okay. And I will put that on the list because if I write that down, well, maybe I should write that down. Okay. But Sharon, you still remind me. <laughs> okay. I'm putting here go to designs because I feel everybody needs to have some go to designs in your memory bank because when you're not feeling it, this is my go to design. Love it. Six by twelve up here, six by twelve down here, cut a little bing bang boom. That's a that's a background. That is done. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. Oh my, this is a great story based paper. Great, great. You could do so much with this and you don't even need a photo. Love this. Now, where would I put this? Multicolor, because I see a story. I don't see a piece of paper. I see a story. Uh, again, multicolor. What's the back? Eh, not loving that. Okay. And again, icons like this. That goes in my multicolor section. And what's this? Oh, this is a nice... I did a really nice layout with this. Oh, and I love the quote. Be the type of person you want to meet. Heart. Heart. Yes. So... Uh, I know I've already used this on a layout, so I probably will cut half of that off. Oh, see, <laughs> I'm running into, oh, multicolor is just my, that's my struggle. See, look, <laughs> that is my struggle, multicolor, multicolor. Now, oh, yeah, 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 okay. So they're, that's where they're all going. But I will tell you, even though I struggle with something like this, I'll tell you this is the best way to make a page kit. 
and I'll be showing you that in just a minute if you want to hang on and my talking will probably get long and rambling and raccoon and but that's that's okay okay so that's a nice background oh I tell you Webster's pages that was a nice line okay so we got coral we got pink pink lots of pink who doesn't love pink and of course I have two different shades of pink I got a blush pink a coral pink and a bright pink but I'm putting it all in pink and so this is one of those things I do when I need to get my mind off of something else or I simply just want to play oh, that's a blush and so this is what I would do I would put all this by color and sometimes you know if my my husband wants me to watch a movie and I really don't like watch <laughs> I don't like spending time watching the boob tube no I like doing something crafty which means scrapbooking so it's a two for one so so you know so I get to spend the time with him I turn a movie on but then this would be something I would do I would literally sit on the floor span all of this out and I would make individual page kits that's a nice background okay so now something like this where do you put this this is a probably a good example of how to also when you're putting paper away what color do you put it in okay and everybody's different so for something like what do you put in and I always tell people what color do you see first and if I can't then I'll show it to my my daughter or my husband say what color do you see first and whatever they tell me is where I put it so for this one I think I'm gonna put it in blue I do I really think I'm gonna put this in blue oh this was one of the first this was the first line of Cartabella the very first line I remember I was so giddy when he came out with this okay I'm not really liking that well I don't know I see this over here Ooh, I'm gonna put it there okay this is going in aqua aqua okay okay so that's what I'm gonna keep on doing and I know these are pretty much all by the side facing the top side is the side I'm gonna use okay so we have aqua and I hope I'm in frame for some of this okay I'm gonna stick all that there so you can see my main color scheme. It was pink, turquoise, and navy. And so anytime I ran across that, or anytime something came into my space that was those colors, I stuck it in here. And because honestly, when I started, this kit was not this big. It has gotten so big over time. And of course, here's some neutrals, here's some browns. So we'll make a group for that. There's a gray. And we have some black. And I think this will be finishing out my no, oh, these these are these are nice too. Really like that. I think I'm gonna put that in my multicolor. Okay. So then what I'll do is I will put these in color by the rainbow, you know, in my groups. And I will stack them literally one on top of each other. Okay. So then I have my pink. And do you know where my gold's gonna go? It's gonna go at the end of my pile because the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> That's where I put my gold. Okay. So now I have these brown and I have this gray. So I'm just going to stick them in here right before, right after my blue, but before my black. And I think that's where we ended. Where's my blue? And so this is the process I would do. I would literally put this all in one stack by color. But that's my style and that's how I go when I think... What do we say we were doing this? This put it in the blue. Why not? I mean, if you put in the pink, you'll see it. If you put it in the blue, you'll see it. No wrong way to do that. And I guess I'll put that. Well, that's going to go with that. I can tell you that right off the bat. And I have this coral, so I'll just stick this in there. Okay. So I'm just going to put that to the side. So anything that I thought I would use as a background is in another pile. All my multicolor pieces is here on the top. Okay? And then the rest of this is by rainbow. My pink, all different shades. My turquoise, all different shades. My navy, all different shades. Some neutrals, and my black, and my gold. Okay. Now I did see a cut apart there. Let me uh, take a gander at that. So that's what I'm going to do. 
I'm just going to sit here and make some individual page kits. So, and I'll talk about that, how many I'm going to do. Now, so something like this. Do I want to go ahead and cut this up? I'll tell you what, I have so many. So many Project Life or Pocket Page cards, because if you say Project Life anymore, you get slapped with a lawsuit. Okay, Pocket Page cards, journaling cards, whatever. Okay, so I don't know if I want to cut this up, but if I don't cut it up, chances are will I use it. I don't know, it's very pretty. Okay, and I keep flipping over because I know it's, it's a glare. Well, what do you do? <laughs> Someone yell, what do you do? Do you go ahead and cut this up or... Maybe I'll just wait. I'll just leave it in the gold. I'll just leave it in the gold for now. I tell you what, Laura Whitaker, when she did her videos, man, that lady, she, she would inspire me to use those cut-aparts like nobody's business. She could, I think she could probably make a dress out of one. She just was so talented. Okay, so multicolors over here. And my rest of my papers are in color, color grouping. Okay, so what I would do is I would start with some of these multicolors because if for, for an inspiration piece or the beginning of one, you want something that you can draw, you know, draw more than one color. So let's pick this one right here. Okay. Oh, ding. Just hit my lights. Oh, Lord, I don't need anything to come crashing down. I think I just finally got everything back to the way it was before my repairman showed up. Okay. Now. I have something in mind I want to do with this. And you know, it's so funny because I was getting ready to put all this stuff away and I got this harebrained idea, you know, to put everything away. And then I saw a comment about individual page kits and I thought, oh, that's what I'll do. So what I want to do is I want to make a layout just with this hexagon shape in a sporadic diagonal design. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this in half. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut that in half because then I will stretch that. Well, no, right off the bat. See, oh, things just make me so excited I get on a sidetrack. Okay, so this is my multicolor piece. I'm going to make a page kit. Will be one or two page. Well, what do we want to do? How about if I do a couple one page and then I'll do a couple two pages? Because I know not everybody does one page, not everybody does two pages. So let me start off with doing two pages because I have the most paper. So for two pages, what I do is I would do four or five papers. And you're like, four or five papers? Well, that's if I'm not going to do a card stock. Okay? So for a single page, I'll pick three. For a double page, I'll pick... Uh, yeah, I'll pick four. Four or five. Depends. Okay, because you know, I also have scraps. So when I get these done, I will, yeah, I'm trying to think. Because a lot of my double page spreads, I usually cut my papers in half. Okay, so that's what I'll do. For a single page, I'll pick three. For a double page, I'll pick five. That's what I'll do. Okay, because I also have scraps. Okay, so this is this is what I have. So of course, you know, I'm going to go right, <laughs> I'm going to go right to my aqua group. Now, I would have these on my lap, and I would be flipping through them that way. But that doesn't help you. Uh, and that's what I do. I put them on my lap, and I just flip through them. That's what I do to find to find my colors. But that doesn't help when we're doing it this way. So it may take a little longer. But you can see my process, right? And so I will just have that there. And I'm looking more for a mint green than anything else. And that looks very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. I'm liking that. And I really don't spend a lot of time on this because I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, that would be nice. What I'm going to use to scrap. So I'm not going to get hung up on it. Okay. And so then I have a pink. Okay. Did I say I was on a double page or a single page? Oh. I was going to say, that's Teresa Collins. That was a nice line, too. Okay. I might, oh, no. That, see, that goes together, doesn't it? Uh, that's got too, too dark. I want to brighten things up a tad. So, I hope you are sitting here scrapbooking along with me. 
or at least just listening to me. Okay, so that's the end of that. <laughs> that's all I, I think I need some caffeine. I'm slowing down. Okay, so I have this. I'm going to have to pick up pink. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. I think I'll pick up pink. And that's what I'll do. And I will keep playing. And what I'll do is have these here. Now that could go. And of course, you know, I want to pay attention to scale. I want to do that. And this is more of, you know, a craft base. But you know what I say. Mix the craft, mix the white, mix the ivory. Don't get hung up on that at all anymore. We're, we're skipping all that. And I think I want more of a soft pink or a coral. So I'm going to keep on going. Just keep on going. And so, of course, when I have these two here, when I have these two sitting here and I can keep looking at it, if I pull them, see how I can just keep pulling and I can see what that looks like. Now we're getting into some softer pinks. And I think I see one coming. I like that. Oh, there's that dot. Those are just the reverse. Oh, there's a flower. Okay, there we go. And that's my decision. That's what I like, and that's what I'm going with. Okay. And I said, what was I doing, a single or a double page? Well, honestly, if I was doing a double page, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick out three papers every time. And that's it. Right there is one. Okay. And I'll, keep, I'll come back to that one. Okay. So that was, and the, it goes quicker as you go, so don't worry if, if the first one gets hung up a little bit. Okay. Now I know I have this one, and I love this. Love, love, love this. And I know I had purposely picked that out of my inventory when I did this kit. And that's going with that. So what will I do? I will pick a, a pink and a turquoise, and I'm going to call that one good. Okay, and that was from the Market Street. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, so I could go with the darker pink, or I could go with the lighter pink. And we'll just see. And I don't want to do floral. So again, I'm looking up here in correspondence with these right here. And I just keep just keep moving them. And like I said, when I was doing this before filming, I would just put them on my lap, flip through, and that's how quick I would do them. Or you can just do them on the floor. And it doesn't have to be a rushed process. It's just something you enjoy. Not enough blush. So we're gonna keep on going. So how many page kits do you have in your inventory at any given time? I didn't get a pink dinner. Well, I'm going to have to keep on going. I'll have to look at that later. We're going to go and find this turquoise. That's what I want. And so, of course, my mood and feel is a little bit more sophisticated, more formal, so I, don't, I want to make sure I pay attention to that. That would be a perfect. Um, but this is a more playful mood and feel. This is not. So keep on moving to have a back side of that uh, this is not the mood and feel yeah this is just not something I rush through that's not enough and I'm at the end of that <laughs> well how about that no don't like that I mean, if that's the only choice I had, I'd be happy with it. So I didn't get a pink or a, I didn't get a pink or a turquoise. So what what do I do? I start over because I'm not going to go pull anything. I'm going to pull from what I have because there's plenty of choices. Okay, now there's that. That's more peachy, so that's off. I better leave that flip so we don't I keep getting that. And this is one of those things that you, the first go around, I couldn't find anything. So the second go around... I will start looking up some of the back of the B-sides. And then if I do that again, I have a pile of scraps here. That might be how I have to get my my papers in. Yep, that's what I do. Now that, you know, that's got navy. You can't even see what I'm doing. So I'm just pulling, going through what I just did. And some of these I know don't have a B-side because I can feel in the weight. Because some of these are paper studio. And I know they don't have a backside. No, I can tell of all the pinks. I use more baby pink, more of this this pink right here than I do anything else. Well, I saw that one coral from the beginning. 
You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to scrap that because I like it with that. Oh, but then that makes a nice mat. Oh, wow. What do we do? What shall we do? I'm not giving up. I will not give up. I'm going to keep on going. Well, it looked like I gave up. It looked like I just gave, gave it a throw. No, I'm not giving up until I find something. That would be more formal. I don't know if that's... I'll tell you what's throwing me off. It's this distress. Because I just don't... I just don't do that. So you know what I'm going to do? Start all over. No. Yeah. I'm going to have to find... I'm just going to get away from that. Because it's not working for me. And I will not give up. What's the back side? Oh, okay. That would be an option. Still don't like it with that. I guess that's why I didn't use it. Because it's still there. Okay, let's go with the turquoise. Now, this is more playful, but you know what I just said? You gotta go with what you have. Of course, there's the numbers in turquoise. Anybody liking anything? That's not too bad. That's more of a good color scheme. Okay, but then that means I can't use that. That's too much of the same scale. No, not liking that. <laughs> oh, my. You know, something I learned from Totally Tiffany. She does a lot of organizing videos. She said if you're sitting here or doing anything and you can't make a decision, you know what that means? It means your brain's tired and you're not going to be able to make a decision because you're tired. So the best thing is just let it go. Go do something else and come back. So when you're sitting here and you're like, can't make a decision, can't make it. Yeah, it's because you're tired. You can't make a decision when you're tired. I mean, our mama's told us that, right? You're tired. You can't think when you're tired. Well, she was right. You can't. <laughs> okay. So I need I need to get jiggy here. I need to make a decision. I just keep going back to that. And you know what? I kind of like that coral, but then that's, that's the, to say, oh, it's the same. Oh, well, maybe I like those together. Some of that's all the same thing. But we're going to keep going forth. See what I can find. That dot, which is the B side of that. Oh, see, you know, I seem to always go towards those brights. What, what's up with that? You know what? Is this navy or black? Let's do that. Let's go find what's in the black category. That might be what I need. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, there was a nice gray. Okay, so let's go to the black. I'll leave those pinks there. Let's go to the black. Maybe we can find something. Something that makes it... Well, gee, that <laughs> didn't last long, did it? Oh, man. Black and white. I tell you, that's such a nice black and white stripe. What is that? Oh, it's a Christmas paper from American Crafts. Deck the halls. Such a nice black and white stripe. Oh, you could own 50 of them and never get tired of that. And I don't want any graphics. Don't want any of that. I'm back to square one. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, I'm either going to make a quick decision here and get off my tough, or I'm just going to to put it on the pile and, and pick another day. That's what I'm going to have to do, because I didn't decide anything. So let's just uh, pretend we didn't even go there. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Bright colors. Here we go. And I know there's some papers in here that match up because it was of the same line. Okay, so I see this brown. Let's go there. I think I pulled too many papers. Okay, let's go to the brown. I know there's a couple in there. That would be nice. Now, see, I, I have this here, and that, of course, would go good, but I already have it here, so no sense wasting this pattern when I already have it. So I can simply go with that. Okay. Now, what else we want to do? I like that a lot. Do we want to do a turquoise? I don't have yellow, so what am I doing with that? Okay. So I can get one of these bright pinks in. 
Okay, so that's too close in scale to that graph, so that wouldn't work. Oh, we got some more glitter. Pink glitter. But I got glitter hair, so it's and there's some wording. And I think that's what we're gonna do. There's three right there. Okay, so that's number two. Okay. What's the next one? Next one. Next one. Oh my. Okay, let's do this one. This isn't a full 12 by 12, I don't think. No, well, we're still going to go with it. B side, that's pretty too. Okay, so what can I go with? Is that navy? I think that's a black. Well, we can do two turquoise and, well, turquoise and pink because let's, let's do navy. I'll play off of that navy. That's what we'll do. And a dark turquoise. A, yeah, a dark turquoise and a navy. That's what we're going to do. And I know there was one. And if I, well, you know what? I shouldn't do a dark turquoise because right there it is. So that's two sheets right there for me. This and this. So I'm going to find a navy to go with that. And that would be my three sheets. And I want this darker navy. And I don't want stripes because I have that representative. And on the back is like a floral motif. So I don't want to do florals and I don't want to do stripes. So come on, baby, what you got? What do you got? Of course, I can always go with the gold. Oh, there's a navy stripe, but I just said I can't do stripes. Geometrics, that's not blue enough. Well, that ain't gonna work. Well, that was the end of my navy. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got for gold. Okay, gold. Wow. I'm really limited. Hmm. Well, gold, turquoise. Let's go to the coral. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. Well, that would be kind of nice. There's three. Well, there we go. Of course, you know. Well, nope, floral. Skip that. I'm not sacrificing a floral. No sir, rebob. Cost too much money for florals. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you guys do that too? No. Because, you know, you up to $1.29. I was uh, traveling not so long ago, and I was in a store, and honest to goodness, I saw some new papers that were coming in at $1.99. And I showed it to my husband. I said, $1.99. $2.00 right off the bat, just to make a layout. I said, no, not for me. No, 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 no. I'm so glad I built my inventory up over the years and I didn't pay $1.99 for a sheet of paper. I mean, not when you can go to Hobby Lobby or, well, Hobby Lobby, if they have a paper pad sale, you can get, you know, papers half off. So you can get a whole paper pad for $10. But yet you pay $2. I said, it would have to really be special. I haven't found anything that special. And I'm out of the coral. Well, I'm batting it. I'm not, I'm not doing so well here. It's usually not this hard. I think it's because I need some caffeine. Okay. You know, I probably have some stuff in my scrap. Yeah, I probably would have things in my scrap. I might have to go that route. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got this, and I got that, and I like that, and I need something. Okay, that's going to have to be, that is honestly going to have to be something I use for scraps. So I'm going to consider that one, <laughs> another one, because I can't find anything with this. Okay, this ought to be a little easier. Okay, this is Dear Lizzie Daydreamer. Okay. What year was that? Not like it makes a difference, but we all like knowing that, right? Yeah, 2013. Okay, Joan, you see what I just did? I took a drink. Are you proud of me? <laughs> Joan has an ongoing conversation with me because sometimes I'm sitting here choking and she's like, take a drink, take a drink. Please take a drink. She said, I give you permission to take a drink. So there, Joan, I, I listened to you. I took a drink. 
Okay. And I, I just need to put this out because I, I want something to go with that. Okay, so we're going... Oh, that pink there. Be, oh, see, there's geometrics. And I struggle with that. But that's a nice pink. Kind of too close in scale, but I can pull that off. Yes, I could. So let's go to turquoise. Or we could even do a black. Okay, which one? Tell me. Should I? Well, I got turquoise here. Let's go to black. Yeah, let's go to black. So I hope this is something you find enjoyable. I know when I, you know, I have, I subscribe to a lot of YouTube gals because I, that's where I get my inspiration. That's my local hangout now. Well, it has been for some time. I love when people do this process. Love it. So I hope it's something you find enjoyable too. Okay, I could get in this too. That's too, kind of too dark, isn't it? Eh, it's okay. Not my favorite. That's too white. That's too floral. I feel like the <laughs> gold box and the three bears. That's too big. That's too small. And I don't think I have any B-sides. Oh, that's a nice piece of paper. See, that's too close in scale. See how that that's close in scale? Yeah, all three of those are too close in scale. I'll bring it closer. You see? That's what I mean by scale. They all look the same size. It's like a medium print. All the same. So your eye kind of bings back and forth. Doesn't know where to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to add a scrap to that. Because, I mean, I do have that. But I don't really care for that. Okay. Well, do I have anything in that light blue? No. Anything in that light blue? And so, also, too, when I'm doing something like this, and say if this was the arrows, and I wanted to go with this, but yet I didn't want to put that whole sheet in, I would go ahead and get my trimmer, and I would cut this in a 6 by 12 piece, and I would put it in with this grouping, and then I'd keep it for something else. I've done that many, many times. Now, see, that's a foil. I like the back of that. Got that foil? Nope. Mm -mm. That would be kind of nice. This is, um, oh, my mind's eye, 2011. This is, was that lush line, and this is like uh, that velvety. Wish you could feel that. Just beautiful. Uh, there was a store that was going out of business several years ago, and they were selling these for like, I don't know, it was a pack of 10 or 20 of them. They were different designs, and they were selling for like $3. Yeah, and every time I place an order, I buy one. Just love it. Of course, you can't buy navy. But you know what? I really like that. I really do. Right, there's another one. Okay. What is that, four? I'll just keep on going. I'll get a couple more. Okay, this pink. So, my color scheme was pink, turquoise, and I just saw a wood grain. <laughs> you know, wood grain, I spy that like... <laughs> yeah, I can spy a wood grain a mile away. Where was that? Oh, I have these in the wrong order. How did I do that? They don't go there. I saw wood grain, and I love floral and wood grain together. So could I do this? I like that. I like that a lot. Now, what's the B? Wow, you'd have to really strategically figure that out. But I like that. Now what color could we put with that? Well, I'm not gonna do black. I'm not gonna do turquoise. That's not my mood and feel. So I will put that and see if I can find a scrap. So there's another one. That's how I do it. Because if I don't find a scrap in my, you know, my immediate scrap, you know, which I have quite a few. I mean, look how many I have from this kit. That's a, that's a nice hefty collection. So if I don't, then you know what I can do is I just take my, my scrap folder. And when I'm sitting down to make this, I'll make sure my scrap folder is not far away. And I'll pull out from my, my other scraps. Okay. So we're back to the square one. Let's pick another one. See how fast it's getting? Okay, now here would be one. This is a multicolor. Yes. Okay, we got the pink, the turquoise, and we even got, I think that's a brown, like a, well, it's a dull gold. Okay, so let's see what we got. I'll keep on going. Now that would be, you know, keep on going. But I'm looking for a pink. Now that would, that would be the right color, but it's not the same mood and feel. This is more playful. This is more more formal, more, uh, what's the world, Old English? <laughs> oh, that's cute. 
That's, that's a possibility. That's, that could be. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of coral in this one, so again, I might have to be... It seems like a lot of times when I do page kits, and I had to break my I break myself with this habit, I would start with florals. Floral, floral, floral. And I'm like, you know, you got to branch out. I can't just always use floral. That's the B side of that. Hmm. I like that pink. It seems light and airy, which that is me. I know that's me. Light and airy. Oh, that's kind of cute. Playful with the arrows. I know this is a playful flower. Guess what? There's another one. Uh-huh. And then, once I pick out some papers and I get them in a group, I forget, lost track how many I did. I'll do a couple more and I'll stop here. And then what I'll do, once I pick out some paper combinations, I will go through and I will bring back my embellishments. And I will literally take embellishments and put on top of piles. And then I'll bag that all up together as an individual page kit. And so it's just something a little fun to do. Why not? I had everything out. Might as well. This is pretty. Oh, could I go ahead and just play with that? Could I pick out something and go with that? That would be... Oh, that's nice. Oh, too many... See, this has a gold foil, and this has a sheen. So that's that's too much. That's too much of everything. So this is white. No. I really should be playing with this navy somehow. That's probably what I should be doing. But I'll see if I can find something real quick. I already got the gold, and that's enough gold. I don't need anything else. Of course, I got dots here. I really shouldn't have dots there, but there's that. Oh, there we go. There's that. There we go. Now, what else would I need? A turquoise. Or, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go straight to the navy. So, let's stop with the turquoise. Because I have turquoise here. Let's see. And I already have dots there in the foil, so that won't work. That's uh, not... And I already have a diagonal stripe, so I don't want that. Not going to work, not going to work. Mm. That's kind of fun. I kind of like that. I kind of like that better. And I'm, am I running close? Oh, here's a geometric. Okay, so these three... Or, I like that, or I could do these three. I like that too. Well, now, gee whiz. Well, I think I'll go with the geometric because this has like a floral and I already got a floral. Okay, so there's another one. We're rocking and rolling now, aren't we? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so this should be an easy one because right here is my one side, there's my second side, and I'm going to pick out a turquoise. Turquoise, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So again, there's my turquoise group. And I somehow got to get these used. And you know what? I think I'm going to use one of these because... Actually, no. What I need to do is just put this as one because I'll use a border sticker or a strip. All I need is a mat. Okay, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you'll see how that comes together. So should I stop there? Or should I stop there? Or should I keep on going? What else do I have these numbers? That's a nice this right here makes a nice story-based page. Okay. So I'm going to find something to mat this with, and this will be the only page I need. So that's another one. Okay, now I'm on a roll. Keep on going. Keep on going. What about this? Should we try to revisit this? You think I can make a decision? Well, I think right there's one of them. Uh -huh. Right there's one. I see that really didn't appease me in the beginning, but it is now. So I guess what I'm going to find. I'm going to no. Well, let me see if I can find. You know what? A gold, a gold, a gold. How about this? This, this, and this. There we go. I didn't come up with that in the beginning. How many did I get? Okay, I'll just do a couple more, however many I end up with. Okay, you want to do the cameras? I already did that one. I did that one. 
Oh, okay, let's do this one. Anchors. What's the B side? Eh, not working for me. Okay, now this. Oh, okay, definitely. We're going to go right to navy because navy, navy, navy. You know, I wish manufacturers would uh, listen. Everybody keeps saying more navy, more navy. And what do they do? Less navy, less navy. It's like, do you want to sell product, don't you? You know, what's the problem here? Okay, I like that. Well, there we go. Oh, let's see, this is kind of a motif. I don't want to get a motif. I want to stick with something basic. Okay, I'm sticking with that. Okay, now I could go with a pink or I'm going to go with turquoise. I'm going to stop with the pink and I'm going to go straight to turquoise. And there's my turquoise group. And I will lay these here. And I'm looking for that color right there, like a, a baby. A baby mint. Well, looky there. Doesn't that look nautical? Sure does. Okay, another group. <laughs> okay, I'll keep on going. Here's a floral. That keeps popping out. That's a different type of blue. You think we could w pull that off? What could we come up with that? Now, that's, that's not a playful flower. That's a more formal English garden flower. So glitter's not going to work. A vintage look is not going to work. Oh. Okay. I should put that in the mold. Multicolor, see if I could find that. Okay. Oh, that like, damn, that's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not cutting it. That's not cutting it. I'll tell you what, though, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, now I'm getting all kinds of ideas. You see how things are going a little faster? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more excited here because I can start seeing how things are coming. And that's what happens when you start with something like this. And if you get tired, either walk away from it or keep pushing through. And once you start making a decision, it gets quicker and quicker and quicker. I'm not finding any pink that I feel sophisticated. Well, I guess we're going to keep on going. How about a blue and a gold? What do you think? I don't know. Let's try. I know, glare. Not going to work. Or... How about this? How about, this is glare. How about when we go with this pink floral and we would use these cut aparts? Now, what would we use for a background? Well, you could always use white. That's not, that's not doing it for me. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try this. I'm going to see with, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this blue flower with this blue rose and I'm going to take it with these cut aparts and I'm going to see what I can come up with because it simply could just be a story based okay another one another one bites dust oh another one bites dust hey hey <laughs> remember that song oh my oldest brother was in love with that song okay I want to do something with this one so I'm going right to my navy and I don't know I might have them do that in cardstock That's just a little too busy for me. Okay, I want uh, a navy. Of course, you know, you can always put that turquoise in. But you know, that color, that combination is just done and done and done. And I've done it, done it. And I'm kind of, you know, need something different. I like that. I like that. Now I'll find something pink. Or black. No, not black. I want to find something. I don't think I have any solid pink, so that may be an issue. Another glitter. This is one of those sheets that just keeps cycling through. Oh, this vintage. Now, I like that. Yes, I do. Even though this is white, I like that. There's another one. Mm. That could kind of work in, too, this one right here. Can I put all three of those? I might just put four of those in there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put those four in there right there. I like that. I like that a lot. Because, you know, maybe I could fussy cut those. Yes, absolutely love that. Whew. I think I just got goosebumps. <laughs> this makes me excited. I really could. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, do I keep on going? I don't know what the time is. I don't want to get up to see how much I've been... I should have timed myself. Okay, I'll do one more. How about we do the cameras? Because we all love cameras. Okay. But this is one of those things. Of course, it has a sheen to it. You basically would just pick out a turquoise and a pink. And that would be done. Okay. And you want something what? Well, vintage for sure. And you know what I just thought of? I remember this vintage sheet and it has not left my brain. And this is the one right here. Yep, yes, yes. There we go. That one for sure. I don't want to do black. The cameras are too black. So what else do I see? I don't have a yellow. I see that pink. So I guess that's where I was at, wasn't I? The pink. And that's just the right, wrong shade of pink. And I'm running low on pink. That's, eh, that's not my favorite. But... That doesn't mean I have to keep, I have to stop. Oh, maybe. Uh, that's more coral. Well, that would have been a nice, yes, that would have been a nice pattern. But that didn't make it, but I just saw something here. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, so if I covered half of that up, and I just went with that, and that, and this. Yes, there we go. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that's another one. Okay, do I do, do, I do one more? One more, do I do, I do? Okay, I'm gonna put this in because I'm gonna use this as a story based. So that's another one done. And this one is gonna be story based. That's another one done. I already did this one. That I'm not interested in. Okay, I'm going to do one more. That's my last one, other than those pink roses. This is the one I'm going to do. Okay, I got my wood grain. So I'll do that. So turquoise and against the pink. Yeah. Why do I keep asking that? I know what it's going to be. Okay. So, for some reason, I'm liking this with that. Maybe. I don't know. That's a possibility. Okay. So if this isn't your thing, I apologize for that, but you know, maybe the next video will be, okay? But I love watching people to see their color combinations. I love seeing why they pick what they do, why they don't pick what they don't pick. And uh, so yes, wrong pink. And that's the end of that pink. Okay, keep on going. Well, I have a pink, so that's gonna be my choice. I didn't find anything else that excited me. I guess I could use that, but no. I'd have to use that with navy. I see that color and I think of navy. Okay, so I wouldn't pick this because this has a glitter. This already has glitter. No sense doing it twice. Okay, and this has numbers, so that would be that would be good. The pink would be good. Okay, so let's go with the turquoise. Let's just not even bother. Keep on going. And so I know when I put page to get kits together, I know pink is something I use a lot of. So I, oh, there we go. Okay, I don't want this because this has a sheen. This doesn't. And I won't use this as a whole, so I don't want half of that. So there we go. Okay, there we go. Now, so I will put these in another. Or should we do this? <laughs> okay, should we? Okay, let's see how fast we can do it. Let's go to Navy, Navy, Navy. Okay, I'll probably end up picking the same kind I had. That's basically kind of what I did pick, didn't it? Well, let's go with black. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, do I or don't I? I don't know. I should have looked here more in the back on things. I'm liking some of those. Captured memory snapshots. Well, I just can't let that go. <laughs> I can't. I can't let that go at all. So what can I do? What can I use with that? Well, I'm not going to let that go. I'm not going to let that pass me up. What are we going to find? Well, I'm just looking real quick here. Oh, 
that. See that? That's just too much. That is too much, much, much. That is so pretty. What could I put that with? Jen Allison, she did such great collections for them. She was so talented. So, so talented. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. You see how I'm just getting all excited here. I can't control myself when I don't... I see these two right here, and I'm liking this. I like that for a mat, and I like that. So I could get something vintage in. So... What did I have left? Well, I'm just left with graphics, so... Mm, no. No. But I'll tell you something I do see. <laughs> I, I like those two. Oh, that's a... Yeah, I thought I did. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. What could I do with that? Okay, you know what? I like that. Could I, could I, could I? Let me see if I can find... Well, you know what? I can find some for a scrap. Okay, so there we go. There's another one. Okay. I really don't want to give up on a couple of these sheets, but I do love this process. Here we go. That's going to be one. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just do a solid black. Maybe add a washi strip to that. Let me see what I have for... Well, oh, I don't want to do black and navy. I don't think I have another pink. And there's new B-side. Well, we have that as a B side. Hmm. Huh. Well, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? See, I'm panning them out. You can see things are getting a little <laughs> getting. We're getting wild, aren't we? Now, if I had a blue. I think I just stopped. Did I stop talking or did I not stop talking? Oh, that looks pretty. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. This has blue. Well, okay. I'm getting sidetracked because I just saw something else. Forgive me. I saw this here. Okay. I saw that. I like that. So what else could I pair with that? Yes. Oh, well, you know what? Should I go back and revisit that? No. I think I can pull that off. That looks mood and feel to me. Okay. So, right there's one sheet. There's two sheets. And I thought I saw something else in here. Yes, I did. And that's the last one I have. I think I'm going to pull that in. Yes, I am. There we go. There's three right there. Of course, that's the one that's more inspiring to me. So, or maybe I do a navy. Navy, navy, navy. Let's see what we got. That's a stripe. Can't go with that. Oh, no. That was the navy. Okay. Okay. I'll just leave those two, and then I'll find something in my scrap. Yes, I'll just leave that there, and I'll find something in the scrap. Or I can find a pink. Then I have that navy arrow. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. I should stop, right? That was too many. Okay, so what I will do is I will stop here, and then I will come back, and hopefully I will have stopped myself. But I see this black floral, and I, uh, okay. I like this black floral. The raccoon syndrome. Oh, my goodness gracious. No. Oh. Okay. But sometimes I'll challenge myself and I will purposely use every one of these papers in a combination. I will. I truly will. But for video sakes, I probably should stop. Okay, I will stop. <laughs> okay, I will be back and I will tell you how many page paper page kits 
I came up with and then we'll start playing with embellishments. Okay, I will return. Okay, I am back with my pile of page kits that I have ready to go and I wanted to share a couple tips and then I will end this video and then I'll go to a part two because this video is quite long enough. Okay, so I looked when I was done filming and I had about an hour filming and so I thought, okay, an hour filming and I ended up with 20 page kits. Now, five of these I have that are story based. Now, story based for me means it's basically just one page, okay? That's a story based layout. I have five of these where it's basically just one page. And I'm gonna give you, you see this one right here? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to emphasize the beginning initial of, you know, my little family. And we are going, and I'm going to talk about what our names represent. So I, that's been on my, my list, but anyways. See, raccoon. Okay, so there's four. There's the fifth one. No, yes, there's my five story based. Okay, I wanted to show you something. Do you see how I have these in a pile, but yet I have them separated by a piece of copy paper? That's how I do my page, individual page kits. See, each one has a copy paper. Okay, so that's my five story based. Okay, then I get into my actual page kits where I had about three to four sheets. Okay, and so right here, that's one. Okay, there's another one. Okay, and so that's how I do that because I will probably store this in a pizza box. And I'll talk why when that gets to part two, maybe part three. I don't know. Okay, like I said, this is a video that you just put on and do something else just listen but okay if you like page kits then you're sitting there just all engrossed okay so that is what I did I ended up with five story based and 15 regular page kits now will they be one page or two page it all depends because you know honestly I can take a piece of paper and I can stretch it so I don't really have that as a concern plus I'm going to do uh, my scraps so with those 20 page kits my video is about an hour so that'd be what? About three minutes per page kit. I have 20 page kits. And so roughly, you know, because I did a lot of talking, so three minutes to put together page kits. Now that rocks. And that is all about batch processing and batch scrapbooking. And I will talk about that in part two. So stay tuned. And part two will be coming up. And come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to learn. Bye. Bye.